Hello, Anita. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. So great to see you. This is Anita Grant. Yes, my namesake. She's written a book called Hello Hair, A Hundred Different Hairstyles. It's an amazing yes. book. Thank you. Anita, tell me why you wrote this book. Absolutely. Um, so growing up for most of my life, I never really showed anybody my natural hair. And um, I knew the impact it had on my self-esteem and my confidence as I went into my adulthood. And in 2020, I was welcoming my first daughter, Tiana. And I said I wanted to raise her with intention to love every single part of herself, but especially her crown. Um, so the book was an opportunity for her to see the versatility and beauty of natural hair. Um, and it also, the style of it brings a nostalgic experience for many of us with the Black Hair Magazine, something that I grew up that made me see first all the different versatility of hair. So it is a way to change the black hair narrative in a fun experience and let them see how beautiful they are and see themselves in the book. Okay. Could you show us more? So this is Hello Hair. So this is an A4 size book, guys. Right? <laughs> Here are some of the images. So we go through the afro, the braids, the twists, the locks. And she actually names the styles as well. Styles. Oh my goodness. We can learn so much from that. Absolutely. Fish tail cornrows, chunky weights. Wow. You can't miss the head wraps. Yeah. The head wraps in there as well. Okay. So when did this book come out? So the book launched um, July 2022. Okay. And how sales with that? <laughs> very well, very well. That's very fantastic. Is it getting into schools? So yes, um, one of my biggest wholesalers are from school boards, um, buying it on behalf of the entire organization. So every school has a book, um, and a lot of ECE centers, so early childhood care centers as well. Okay, how about libraries, public libraries? Absolutely, public libraries across Canada have oh, purchased wow. the book. Oh yes, I've got to say, Anita is from Canada, I by know. the way. <laughs> Toronto, Canada. Yes. Oh wow, okay. So they've received it well in Canada. Absolutely. Oh, Canada has been wonderful, the US has been wonderful, and internationally the beauty of business today is there's no borders. Um, so being able to ship globally and making sure we can make an impact in all different species because no matter where you are, we have a hair story. Um, and being able to share that with not only the black community, but their peers to see, right? how versatile their hair is, and um, one day we may have an afro, the next may have braids, uh, but that doesn't change who we are internally. Um, so yes, there's an opportunity for us all to see and learn together. Okay, fantastic. So tell me a bit about your background. How did you come to this point? Yeah, so I've always loved business. I'm a commerce graduate, um, so I have a passion for business and entrepreneurship. This is actually my second venture. The first one I was in tech, a little bit over my head, <laughs> didn't know much about tech at all, but I learned so much about entrepreneurship through that journey. And um, my role now, I'm a business consultant by day, and I'm able to support and help other entrepreneurs and also learn from them to be able to apply to Hello Hair. So I'm surrounded by so many amazing, brilliant people and um, having their, getting their, their lessons and having this toolkit to help guide me through my journey is something that I truly love. So I would say business is my passion, but hello, here's my purpose. Okay, got it. So you're educating the world, really, about different hairstyles on Apple here. That is absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Well done. I just want to say the book is brilliant. It's Thank well, you. It's, well uh, it's a good quality book, I've got to say. <laughs> Thank you. Now, when you hold it in your hand, you feel you're holding something substantial. Thank you. So well done. Thank you. I look forward to your next time. book, huh? Ah, yes. We do have number two actually out already. Oh, really? Our second book focuses more on STEM. So what will happen is the readers will go through a series of experiments to learn about their porosity, their density, their texture, their curl shape, and then from there get recommendations specific to their hair. Um, oh. This is in collaboration with a hair influencer in Canada named Curl Co. Black. And she had two major big chops. So the first one was she was just using products and whatever YouTube channels were, were recommended based on the hair type. And the second one was DIY. So understanding, does my hair like honey or does it like avocado? What type of bases, what type of oils? 
and from there that help her navigate what products she should be buying based on what her hair loves. So it's really about building that relationship and understanding the science of your crown. Okay, and this is based once again on Afro hair? Yes, all textured hair. Yes, okay, yes, yes, wow. Yes, yes. Oh, right. so <laughs> really, you're the, the expert. I am bringing them in. Afro hair. Uh, <laughs> oh I wouldn't say, I'm, I'm bringing a collective. There's a many women that are doing it, and we're just yes. trying to come together to really amplify that education and be a resource and a support for youth that are navigating their, their hair journey. I want to say another but an extension of the book so for me in order for us to really see change we need education right so the book is an opportunity for you just to understand the, the versatility but when it comes to hair it cannot be digitized it's not something that visually it's something you got to touch and feel and the dolls are basically four styling dolls of the four characters that you see in the book Tiana, Tamia, Jade and Liz with 100% human hair, Afro textured hair, so that you're able to actually learn the skills and build the confidence to style your own hair. So when mother or father says, okay, I'm done, it's your time to take over, they don't feel like they're, they're lost, right? They, they have the confidence, they have the knowledge, they have the support and the experience to confidently style their own hair. So that's where the styling dolls, professional grade, something you'd usually find in cosmetology school, um, but they're youth size, and the goal is to encourage a co-learning and a co-play experience with the child and the adult or the caregiver to be able to come together and learn about hair, talk about self-esteem, build each other up, and make sure the generation knows how beautiful their crowns are and to wear it proudly on a father channel. So where can these dolls be bought? So they're also available on our website at www.hellohairbook.com. Oh, wow. So four dolls. So basically oh you're starting your own Barbie business, yeah? <laughs> we can call it that, yes. That's fantastic. Thank you. And what are the dolls called? So they're styling dolls. Hello hair styling dolls. Hair styling dolls. Yes, yes. Okay. So parents can buy them to use at home or they yes. can be using training centers? Absolutely. So homes, um, training centers, we wanna we wanna bring it into the to the everyday consumer, right? Something yes. that is usually you'd have to go to school for. And to be honest, they don't teach you about textured hair, at least in North America, they do not teach you about textured hair in cosmetology school. So you usually have to go to an independent or do continuous learning to learn about curly hair. But if we think about the future, majority of the population will have textured hair, right? Okay. And if, if they're oh, not going to teach really? us, we're going to teach ourselves. So that's, that's giving them the, the tools to be able to empower themselves to be able to learn. Okay, so do these dolls come with instructions as to how to do different styles or have you got video lessons? So that's next. We are creating content on how to recreate all the different styles in the book, starting off with there. Um, we have a hairstylist that's onboarded that's going to give you more education, product layering, um, different techniques, what tools you should be using, what products you should be using, um, but all of that to actually build that education piece to support you when you when you don't know anything at a very very basic level beginner level and then working their way up it's fantastic thank well you. done thank you you're, you're really building an empire here aren't you <laughs> around that book thank you so well done thank you so i'm introducing edith who is here supporting anita grant um they're together here at a conference in los angeles and we're going to ask edith how she met Anita, and what did she think of the hair book? 
So it's such a pleasure. You can't say the name Anita without smiling. We're actually co-workers and our incredible boss, who is a connector like you've never seen, uh, actually paired Anita and I to work together. Oh, wow. And so it's through that that I also learned that Anita is also an incredible founder. And the more I got to know her working, the more I realized that like the, sh the star that we need to be shining for Anita is more than just one who helps other startups, but also one that is growing her own very disruptive company. Oh, wow. Yes. And so Hello Hair gets introduced like it's just this, you know, this one thing, but it's actually, like you said, in your words, an empire. And so the vision for Anita is so bold and she is so humble about delivering it, but I have no doubt and my voice doesn't quiver when I say that Anita is going to be the empire holder of something that is going to change the way that a huge number of populations that have not been seen and heard in this way are going to be seen and heard. And that's why it's so easy to enthusiastically support her. Oh, so lovely. I want to say thank you for supporting Anita. I think that's so good. So you've seen the dolls then? I have, yeah. They're, and I know uh, she hasn't told you yet, but uh, there's a new release of dolls coming out imminently. And there are some tastemakers that really care about what she's doing and are looking at what, you know, has been produced. And she, it is getting the attention that it merits. And the upcoming quarter, even the next year, is going to be transformative with this business. Oh, wow. And to be alongside a champion like this is an honor to be, you know, to observe because it makes you realize what's possible, and it gives you courage when we see women like Arlen and where she's come from, and then that torch lighting other torches, and to be witness to that is magnificent. It is amazing. It is magnificent, and we were expecting these books to be seen everywhere around the world. You bet. You've got a very big market in America and the UK. Africa is a very big continent. <laughs> 1.4 billion people. The Caribbean, South America, worldwide. And you may also find that English people, white people, Latino people are interested in this too. You know, because they want to find out, oh, yeah, what is black people are changing their hair every day, you know? <laughs> So thank you for watching. A pleasure. Uh, a a pleasure. Thank you. I think the quote that really touched me the most was when um, there was a father who was talking about these dolls and how if he had a daughter, it would change the way that he would relate to her. Because instead of learning on her precious head how to do her hair and that being challenging for that relationship, he could learn on these beautiful hair dolls and then be able to take those skills and really show such loving connection between a father and a child. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you so much. A pleasure. Thank you so much. I hope we meet again. Me too. <laughs> so have you been doing book tours? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. Hopefully in the future, but um, I'm also a mother of two little ones. So I have a three-year-old which inspired us and now my second daughter will be one at the end of this month. Oh wow. Um, so balancing motherhood yeah. along with entrepreneurship. But once again, the beauty of online inter online um, shipping and, and being yes. able to navigate in, in the virtual world, the Zoom calls. So we're reaching in a way that is, I would say, sustainable at this stage. Uh, but hope for growth in the future. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Well, I've got to check out this book and your other book as well. Thank I'll you. put links in the <laughs> description. Thank you so much. No problem, Don. It was really a pleasure. You too.